something I wear all the time. This black crop, these jeans, and my Reeboks classics. Yeah. Happy, happy Friday, you guys. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. We were off to a really, really rough start. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful day. I just ran up the stairs, down the stairs. Your girl is tired. And my camera is dirty. But I'm about to talk to y'all in the car because it's a weekend vlog. And I'd be so anxious to talk to y'all about like my real, real personal life. So yeah, let's hit this car. <laughs> y'all. Y'all, your girl is gonna have to take back what she said about the pesto. Your girl might be a pesto girl. Like, I might be a pesto girl because that meal last night was, it was top tier. Like, it was really, really good. I was like, oh my gosh, this is good. I'm like, I have to take back what I said about the pesto. Maybe it was just the egg. The egg and guacamole, like, that's not good. But pesto pasta with the chicken... It was a vibe but anyway we are off to work i mean it's friday so you know we gotta knock out these eight hours before we can hit the door but i'm a little nervous about today's workload because this week has kind of been a shit show i've been keeping up with the vlogs you know this week has been kind of rough so i'm a little like on edge when it comes to like work today we are part of you know what this is a weekend vlog we're not even gonna talk about work today we ain't talking about work this is a weekend vlog we're gonna keep the work with the work and the weekend with the weekend and we just gonna enjoy this weekend they have this party tonight that's in like downtown phoenix you yeah, know i don't really do parties but i love like the soca music dance hall reggae vibes like that is like my music if you don't know that is literally my music and rap that is like my favorite genre dance hall soca i love it and they're having um something tonight and it's a free event and i'm like okay let me just go ahead and slide through there because we haven't had like a night where we went out in a while and i'm kind of in the mood to you know shake some ass so probably do that tonight and then on saturday i don't have nothing planned as of yet so we'll see what the vibe is for saturday but y'all <laughs> y'all know the whole little situation between me and my egg donor and i blocked her like she can no longer call me i blocked her but i did not block her on social media like you can watch me on social media that is the only relationship we gonna have is through social media so i don't know if she's trying to get in contact with me or what but she's literally been finding like my other social media accounts and trying to follow me and it's like lady what are you trying to do like don't send me to hell and then try to ease your way back into my life because i don't forget I hold on to grudges, especially when it comes to people that's close to me and that's not supposed to hurt me. I don't let that shit go. And if you're the person that gave birth to me, I'm hold you to the highest of highest of standards. Because you gave birth to me. So how dare you talk to me any kind of way? You're not going to treat me like you didn't have me in your womb for nine months. Like, I am a part of you. And you gonna treat me like that? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I would not. I would not. So, yeah. That's what's been going on, y'all. But I can't even get into this Circle K. Or just... Oh, my gosh. I need to get a freaking energy drink. It must be not meant for me to get this energy drink because it's just too much going on over there and I don't feel like going. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to introduce this vlog and kind of let you guys know what's kind of been going on in my, like, actual personal life. But I will talk to y'all a little bit later, probably when I get off of work. We'll see what the vibe is, you know, throughout the day. But either way, your girl will be seeing y'all later. Baby, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime, it's lunchtime, it is lunchtime, and I am extremely excited about this lunchtime because, baby, this day 
is already stressing me out like I'm already like overwhelmed I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about talk about work but I can't help it because I'm at a point where I'm just like I'm so frustrated it's so funny because Unique said baby this is reminding me that I do not like that cost in life and the funny thing is I, I technically don't work at a call center I mean it's still giving call center vibes but I don't work at the traditional call center, you know, I guess, you know, the traditional call center, because at a call center, you know, you have a schedule adherence, you get an inbound calls back to back to back, like, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> but I have the flexibility to call whoever, whenever I want, you know, so, I mean, it's still, you know, again, call center vibes, because I still got to make outbound calls to people. But I'm not tied to a phone, so it's not like a call center. But baby, this is still, it's still very much annoying. I hate when I call people and leave a detailed message and they call me back and ask me the same questions that I've already left the message in regards to. Like, why are you calling me again to ask me the same question when I returned your voicemail? Like, oh, this is my second voicemail. Well, bitch, this is about to be my second voicemail back to you. I already explained the process. Like, oh my gosh. When you starting to get 150 claims, because that's where I'm close to, your girl is at 142. You about, you about, mm. you about to wheel him in. But we at 142. So I schedule myself when I'm on track and trying to be like doing what I'm supposed to do. I schedule myself 15 activities for the day. I came into 12 freaking voicemails. So on a regular day, 15 is like a good number about how many claims you could touch. So if I schedule myself 15, I'm getting 12 freaking voicemails. That's 27 people. And it's sad that I have to return the same voicemails back to the same people that I've already dealt with. And then they get mad if you take three days to call them. But it's like, well, shit, I, 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 you back on the list for another three days. Because I can't touch you again because I got 150 claims. That's why I feel like 150 is not really manageable. I mean, you can manage it. But people are going to have to wait days for you to call them back again. Like, if I call you and you miss the call, I'm pushing you back for a week. Because now I got to move on to somebody else, you know? Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. But anyway, I'm about to go to this grocery store. I'm about to go get me some sushi because I'm just in the mood for some sushi rolls and a nice cold bottle of water. And we're going to relax our mind and come back to work refreshed and not thinking about people and their stupidness. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Saturday. Y'all, every time I be wanting to go out and my energy be high and ready to go out, the universe is like, sit your ass down. It started raining so bad yesterday. I was like, I guess we're not going anywhere. But anyway, it is Saturday morning. It is almost 10 o'clock. Typically, we don't clean on Saturdays. We clean on Sundays. But the house looks like a tornado went through it. Oh, I wish I was a tall person because that would be perfect if I can just set y'all up there. But anyway, the house looks like a tornado went through it. When the kids are here, I kind of clean, kind of don't. Aisha mainly do the most of the cleaning when her kids are here. And that's kind of like, the house is just, it's just never right when the kids are here. So the week that they're here, it's off a week. Oh, oh, you gonna put it in there, baby? Mm -hmm. I was trying to leave it right it's just an awful week so this house looks a mess so we're about to clean it because i really just want to get it out the way so we don't have to do it on sunday so we're about to clean i have not listened to beyonce's new album or meg the stallion's new album so we just about to vibe out to some meg the stallion and beyonce yeah that's about to be the vibe okay vibes <laughs> Hey, woman hanging on my neck. The 
bracelet matches a set My brother name is Tina Dollar Stop all that back and forth over the net My mama wish I would've went corporate She wish I would've went exec I still turn to a CEO So the lifestyle she respect Hey, two sprinters to Quebec Cherie, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one So I never pull up to the Met You know I gotta bring a set You know I gotta bring the G block You know I gotta bring a D block Cause you know how sticky it get Hey, hey You know how sticky it get, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. She want me to play with that cat, ayy. She love how I'm making her wet, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. Hey yo, Eric, bring them girls to the stage, 'cause somebody's getting paid and free big slime out the cage. And Shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed, 'cause every song that I made is ringing like I got engaged. I love my guys, I wouldn't trade, ayy. From the cradle to the grave, ayy. Gordo got me on a wave, ayy. Got me on a way. Couple of hits, now you're brave. Wait, you niggas better behave. But all that pumping up your chest. Wait, all that talk about the best. You know how sticky it get. Hey, hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, she want me to play with that cat. Hey, she love how I'm making her wet. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey. Yo. If I'm with two of them, then it's a threesome. If she alone, you know she a freak one. If it's an escort, it's a police one. King of the hill, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you know it's a brief one. Back in the ocean, you go, it's a, it's a deep one. Forgave niggas and they feelings. Lucky for y'all, we don't do civilians. You say I changed, I say that I million. I did. The toughest act to follow's back on tour. Off road, made back Pyrex trap. Virgil came back through the boy. Damn. That's something to me, niggas really had they back turned to me I ain't talking my assistant when I say niggas down to pack something for me Then they thought they had a trap set for me How you really think that went for me? Niggas gotta do a fact check for me When everything is put to rest And everybody takes a breath And everything gets addressed It's you alone with your regrets All that pumping up your chest All that talk about the best You know how sticky it get, ayy, ayy You know how sticky it get, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. She want me to play with that cat, ayy. She love how I'm making her wet, ayy. You know how sticky it get, ayy. Woo girl, it is nothing like having a clean house. Probably wouldn't have been done as fast had Aisha not taken all of my nail stuff and put it downstairs in my office because that, where her stuff, this is Aisha's space. And I kind of took over. That was a mess. I didn't even get to show y'all because she was kept trying to help me clean. And I'm like, I'm trying to create content. <laughs> get out of here. So I ended up giving her something she could do, which was clean off the table for me. And she did. So, yes. We are about to grab something to eat because after you don't clean up your whole house, like who wants to come back and clean and mess up the kitchen? I meant, who wants to come, like, cook and mess up the kitchen? Not I. Not I. Y'all, so I ordered these glasses, like, probably a week ago. And they've kind of been... They've kind of been sitting with the kids' stuff. But I am so excited about them because... <laughs> your girl got the little Coke bottle glasses, like, or Coke can glasses. I don't know what they are, but they look like a can. And they're just so cute. And it got the little glass straw which is such a vibe like it is literally a vibe and i'm so excited to like you know drink out of my little clear club like girl who you who, who you talking to rich i'm rich <laughs> ah so funny i can't quit so bad. but anyway beyonce's album is it's a vibe i really like it i was not like i like beyonce but i'm not like oh my gosh beyonce this beyonce that like no that's not me i'm not that girl but i'm really really liking the album so far like she got some hits that i can shake my ass to if i can shake my ass to it it's a vibe and 
Megan's album, it's okay. It's okay. It was giving. I probably gotta listen to her again. But yeah. But anyway, about to get dressed. I still got some makeup under my eyes and stuff. So I'm about to go rewash my face again. Take off all this freaking makeup and then get dressed and go. So things that we gotta do today. These are a must. We need to get a washcloth because I've never like let the washcloths get so low. I usually always have a stock and I don't have any. So we have to go to the Dollar Tree to get a washcloth. So washcloth from the Dollar Tree. I need to get a laundry detergent. We need some more paper towels. We need more tissue. We have to go pick up Aisha's car and drop it off at her house. We need dinner for the week, lunch for the week, and then there's some like makeup pencils that I need from Ulta. So that is on the to-do list today. But anyway, let me go wash my face, go find something to wear, and then we're about to head out. And I'm freaking starving. Like, I'm starving. Don't know what we're eating, but we're going to figure that out as well. All right, this is today's outfit. Just put my braids up in a bun. This is like a crop top. I've never worn this crop top because it's literally too small and I've always felt uncomfortable. But I thought, okay, if I put something over it, it would be cute. So I did that. Of course, fashionable jeans that I wear like every other day. Girl. And then I don't know what shoes I'm about to wear, but... No, I think that'd be cute. Hold on, let me see. Baby gave me these feelers. Um, the blue box ain't going with it. She think I should wear these. Well, I don't know if I'm feeling bulky. I mean, I guess they are cute because of the... Okay. They actually are cute. Okay, I'll wear the feelers. And I don't feel like wearing that, finding that in any way, so... Like Alright. I just thought they would be cute. Cute vibes, period. Booyah. They'll turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am Y'all. Chick-fil-A ice ice cream. Oh, I do want an ice cream, but I did not get that. So y'all see how I be like eating healthy and then the next time it just be a fail. It's okay. We ain't no pro. When we on our shit, we on our shit. When we not, we not. Wait a minute, this macaroni looking real dry today. See, I should have went to back to Phoenix in the blacker area. But this macaroni at Chick-fil-A is bomb. That is all. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I don't even see. Okay. Oh, y'all. I came to freaking Ulta to get what it is that I wanted. And I just saw that Juvia's Place have new lipsticks that I just didn't know they had. But a lot of them are out of stock. And everything in this pencil is out of stock as well. I really need it. I feel like those are probably gonna be so hard to get because they're literally ten dollars. Like everybody's gonna come in here and get pencils. Like why not? And now she got lashes. Yeah, I haven't been doing. I haven't been playing in makeup in a while because I didn't even know she had lashes. These are kind of cute. I really like the packages. And then I really like these colors. It is giving. And then I like this palette as well, but it's giving very, very pasty. But I think this will be like so cute. I think I've seen her on YouTube. She looks very familiar. Oh, I think this is a, the other Gucci new scent. This is the one I already have. But they must have just came out with this one. Smells like flowers. They can keep that. They can keep that. It's electric. Y'all, I've been back home for quite some hours. It's 7:47. Me and Aisha are about to eat this pizza that we low-key kind of burnt. And then go out to this hookah bar that's like around the corner from us. Somebody get ready to do my makeup. And like I said, eat this pizza. I just took a shot. So I'm feeling it. But I just kind of wanted to go ahead and end this video off because I mean, we're about to go out, out and 
I mean, what type of vlogging will we be able to do out, out. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this day. I'm cutting this pizza, by the way, just in case you were wondering like, what the hell am I looking at. I'm looking at this pizza. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys on, I'm thinking Monday. Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know, girl, but I'll see y'all sometime next week. It's electric.